the next area in medical industry where microbes are beneficial to human beings is vaccines so before going to know a detail about vaccines or what are vaccines we need to learn some terms the first one is antigens or invaders antigens are actually any substance that are able to cause a disease in human beings or otherwise we can term as invaders they may be microorganisms or any other substance another term you need to learn is antibody actually antibodies are substances that are produced in the body to fight against those invaders or we can say they are fighters of the body so vaccines are nothing but dead or weakened microbes they have weakened the microbe so that on injecting these vaccines we won't develop any disease but our body will produce antibodies against those weakened microbes so if that particular microbe is going to attack then already developed antibody will fight against that particular microorganism so that's how vaccines are working say for example if i am injecting with tuberculosis vaccine that means the vaccine is containing the tuberculosis bacterium but that vaccine is not able to develop a disease or not able to cause a disease to our human body but they have the capacity to induce the formation of antibodies or fighters in our body so if the tuberculosis bacterium is going to attack your body the already formed antibodies against that tuberculosis bacterium will fight against the incoming bacteria so that's how the vaccine is working so in this image you can see that on injecting the vaccine the vaccine is nothing but the antigen or a weakened microbe so that will trigger antibody production in the body that means the antibody is ready to fight against that particular microbe in future there are so many vaccines some of the vaccines mentioned here are tuberculosis hepatitis smallpox you may have taken so many vaccination when you, you were young actually so what is the difference between antibiotics and vaccines so antibiotics are used to treat a severe infection at that particular time but vaccines prevent infection or prevent you from getting that particular disease so that is the difference between antibiotics and vaccines the next field where microorganisms are helping is in the agricultural field you have already learned that the root of leguminous plants contain a bacterium called as rhizobium that helps converting nitrogen into nitrogen compounds so the plants will have the ability to absorb nitrogen compounds directly from the soil because plant lack the capacity to absorb nitrogen directly from the air they have they are not able to capture nitrogen from the air so they should get nitrogen for making proteins from somewhere else so here leguminous plants are actually containing rhizobium bacteria or 
otherwise called as nitrogen fixing bacteria that help to convert the nitrogen present in the air into nitrogen compounds so that the plants will be easily absorbing the nitrogen from the soil. This you have already learned in your class 7. The next area where microbes are helping human beings is by cleaning the environment. Let's see how it is. So have you, you can see these two images, right? In the first image, you can see there are so many plastic bottles, uh, polythene bags, etc. In the second image, you can see so many plant waste and all. So which will get decay faster? Or which will disappear after some time. This plant waste. Because microbes act on dead waste. Either plants or animals. And convert them into manure. And this manure can be again taken up by plants and animals. So microorganisms are thus helping. By cleaning up the environment. But microorganisms are not able to act on the plastics and all. Thus, we can say that microbes helps cleaning up the environment by converting or by acting on dead organic waste and then converting them into manure. Now let's sum up what we have learned on the beneficial side of microbes. We have already learned that microbes are used in food industry, particularly in making bread, alcohol, wine, etc. And in medical industry, in vaccines and for making antibiotics. And thus help in cleaning up the environment. And thus recycling those nutrients back. Or they can be used up again by the plants and animals. Hope you have understood the beneficial microbes. So now let's do an activity. So what you have to do is like this image you have to take four bottles label them as a b c d and all according to your wish then pour some warm water in each plastic bottles add small amount of yeast in all the four plastic bottles and you have to add one two three Four tablespoons like that. Here one tablespoon sugar. Here two tablespoon sugar. Here three tables, tablespoon sugar. And here four tablespoon sugar. And shake the bottle. And then you have to replace the cap with a balloon. So as in the image you can see the balloons get inflated. So you have to note down your observations in the notebook. Now the questions you have to answer is, is the size of the balloon same or different? What is causing the balloon to inflate? Hope you have a thorough understanding on the beneficial uses of microbes. Thank you.